Right, what is up guys and girls, this is Glenn here once again with another rope rage video. This follow along workout is going to be mainly footwork focused. So the good news for those who suggested it, Vinette and Vero in particular who asked for something that doesn't require you to move around a lot because of the current situation a lot of us are indoors. All these techniques are going to be done on the spot. There'll be no requirement to move around, there'll be no requirement to swing your rope to the left and the right. Uh, we can do these all these techniques on the spot. So if you caught the most recent video where we looked at a bunch of legendary boxers doing their footwork skills and their moves and whatnot, you will recognize some of those moves in this video. So without further ado, let's get into it. going to be a hit workout, high intensity and low intensity. So we're going to start with 20 boxer steps. After that we're going into 20 high knee sprints, left right, left right. That's going to be intense. So we're going to cycle up to intense, back down to low intensity. For the next low intensity part, jab steps. As you might have seen with the legendary Sunny Liston, a really good coordination move to work on, pushing off the right and pushing off the left. Then we're going to go back into high intensity sprints, 20 of those. And the last round, we're going to do heel and toe. Okay, this is a, quite a nifty move. It took me a while to get this one actually, but it's a move I saw Bernard Hopkins doing. And what he's doing is he's bouncing off the heel, crossing the foot over, coming back to the toe. That will be the last footwork we do. And then we'll finish off with another 20 high knee sprints. So to recap, it's going to be 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 boxer steps, 20 high knee sprints, 20 jab steps, 20 high knee sprints, 20 heel and toe, 20 high knee sprints. This is going to be quite an intense workout. Do as many rounds as you want. I'm going to do three rounds. Try to have no less than a 30 second break between each round. Try and keep the heart rate up, keep the blood pumping. All right, enough chatter. Let's get straight into it. sprints get those knees up use your boxer steps your more technical moves as a rest use that as low intensity use that as low intensity notice for the boxer steps the jab steps I brought the pace right down focusing on the technique okay 30 seconds rest let's get back into it
feel that in my calves right now even after just three rounds but I did lose count a few times as well so try and focus on that another thing for you to focus on as well as all the footwork also remember that 30 second rest in between we want to keep the heart rate up we want to keep the blood pumping keep it to 30 seconds rest okay that way you can smash out this workout in 10 minutes and you'll be burning so let me know down below which of these techniques you think you'll have the most trouble with i'd say focus on those okay surprisingly for me the technique i had the most trouble with was the sprints and that's arguably the most straightforward of all of them so that was surprising for me let me know which you think you'll have the most trouble with down below uh, let me know any future videos you want us to discuss on jump rope training and such let me know that down below as well or if you just want to say hi glenn i missed you do go ahead and do that as well it's always a fun time for me to chat with you guys but other than that try this out have fun hit that like button hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it and until next time all the best with your training and stay major.